everyone, it's Morgan. So today I am going to be doing my September favourites. I am super excited to do this video because I have so many different favourites this this year, this month. Um, the last time I actually did my favourites was May, I think. That was the last time I did it. I was planning to do it every single month, but they never really changed um, over the past few months. But this month I've got so much more stuff and yes so i am super excited to show you all of it and before you all say anything in the comments i did dye my hair i am so happy with it this is pretty much my natural hair color um so yeah i did it i dyed it i'm so happy so the other day i actually did try and dye it this color this was well i first of all started to try and go full blonde again because you'll know that my hair was kind of ombre but it went a bit ginger so I was like well why don't I just kind of try and go a light brown instead of going blonde. Sorry if you can hear that noise, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah so it went blue. I tried to go this colour and it went blue. Here is the picture of my blue hair. That was crazy, I was like that for, I was only like that overnight but I tried to dye my hair, sorry, not overnight, only for a few hours in the house. Then I got another hair dye and I tried to go this colour but my hair went black. This is the colour of my black hair. I think I've got a picture of it. If I do, this is it here. Um, but yeah, so my hair went black and then my sister kindly dyed my hair for me and it went this colour which is the colour I wanted so I'm super super happy with it. Let's just get right on with this video. So I'm just going to do this in three different sections. I'm going to do makeup, I'm going to do body, and I'm going to do some random stuff, which will include um, an app that I've been loving, some songs I've been loving, and just some random things. So first of all, starting off with makeup, I am just going to start doing the face, and then the eyes, and then the lips. So for foundation, I've been absolutely loving the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. I am in shade 10, but it's a bit light for me. So if you're kind of my shade of um, skin, I guess, um, I would get one darker than this if you're going to buy it. Um, but yeah, this is the price right here. All the prices for everything will be up here or on the screen or somewhere. It will be somewhere. Um, and they'll all be linked below as well. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. It is pretty thick. It is weird because it's thick when you put it on your hand or your sponge or your beauty blender or your brush, whatever you're using. It is really thick, but not when it's on your skin if you just blend it right. So yeah, this is really good. So this month I actually changed my concealer as well. So this is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. I am in shade 1. I use this under my eyes. Um, and then if I've got any blemishes or anything I'll use it. But usually my skin isn't too bad once I put foundation on. Um, and this is so good. The only thing with it is that it does dry quite fast. So if you're going to... If you're going to buy this then I would recommend um, when you put it on try and blend it straight away. If not try and put it on quite fast because it does dry super fast. For bronzer I have changed my bronzer and this I've been using the Afterglow Light Bronzer from Barry M. I don't know actually if I did mention this in my last favourites. If I did I apologise but I've been using this now. I did used to use my Hel no, not my Hello Floss, my Hello Bronzer from Benefit. But yeah, I've actually just started using this. So it's actually really big, but I've hit pan on it because I've used it so much. Um, but the only thing with it is it's very discreet when you first put it on. If you want it more bold, you just have to layer it up um, and put more on. But other than that, it is really, really good. So the next thing I'm going to show you for face, I have been loving, like I've been loving it lately. And... This is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. Um, you possibly would have heard of this before. The one I've got is in Pink Shimmer. So I'm just going to swatch this for you. Like literally look at this. How pretty is that? Um, so that is what this looks like. It looks a little bit more white on camera. 
but this is absolutely amazing it's only like three pounds and i highly recommend this it doesn't stay on all day but i actually layer my highlight i put on my benefit high beam and then i put this on top and it works super super well um along with putting this on after it which is another one of my favorites this is the mac prep and prime fixing spray i absolutely love this it keeps my makeup on all day I know a lot of people don't like this, I don't really know why, because I absolutely love this, so yeah. So for eyes, I have been testing out a lot of new eyeshadows. Oh, I have that all over my hand. <laughs> um, I've been testing out a lot more eyeshadows, because um, I have so many, but I've just been using my Naked palettes for the past few months, and decided I wanted to try the other eyeshadows that I have because they weren't being put to use so I decided to try them and I came across this palette which is the Revolution palette in Iconic 3 um, so this is the Makeup Revolution palette this is amazing I actually swatched all of them last night I'll insert the picture here um, that is swatches of them this colour right here this one here um, this is my absolute favourite this, oh I'm just going to swatch this it's like such a pretty golden colour so I've been absolutely loving that lately um, I did a makeup look with it last night and I'm going to actually do a tutorial on it so I will be using this in that tutorial if you just keep a look out for that so the next two eyeshadows I'm going to show you are actually two single eyeshadows. First one, they're both from 17. This one is a 17 eyeshadow in nude, which is not really a nude colour. It's like, hard to explain. It's kind of more a reddish kind of colour. So this is it right here. That's the swatch, the one at the top. That is the 17 eyeshadow right here. I actually really really like this especially for the crease and I've been using this a lot lately. So the next eyeshadow from 17 is the 17 eyes eyeshadow in Ivory Coast. This is basically just not a white but a kind of cream colour. Um, it is such a pretty colour and I've been using this as a base for a lot. For my eye primer lately I've been using the e.l.f. shadow lock eyelid primer. Um, this was like, I think it was like two dollars or something, like a dollar, maybe two dollars. Um, when I was in America I got this and yeah, so it's really good but the only thing with it is if you're using matte colours over it, sometimes it'll turn out quite shiny. You can't, I don't know if you can tell but here there's a bit of shimmer and some glitter and stuff. Um, it's dead glittery on your eyes but I mean it's not the end of the world <laughs> it does keep your eyeshadows on all day and yeah I've been using this instead of the Urban Decay one because I've just run out of it so yeah for mascara it is it has been my favourite mascara for so long maybe about two years now and this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara and I just absolutely love this stuff it makes your eyelashes so big and full and just amazing for lip stuff I actually only have two things to show you yeah Two things to show you. Um, so the first thing is my Maybelline Superstay 10 Hour Tint Gloss. This is in the shade. So this doesn't actually have a shade. It's just this red tint gloss. So basically it has the coolest wand as well. Like literally. Oh wait, I feel like it's going to fall out. This is the wand right here. So I'm just going to swatch this for you right here. So basically this goes on as a gloss. It looks more orange on camera. I don't even know why. But um, it goes on as a gloss and then it'll dry and it'll tint your lips. And it's so good. Like I absolutely love this. My mum randomly came and gave me it one day. And I was like okay thanks I'll try it. And I've been loving it like since I got it. So I did say only have two things to show you. But I basically do. But there's four of these. <laughs> So I've been loving the Lime Crime Matte Lipsticks. These are matte liquid lipsticks. And, um, these are amazing. You will probably have seen them in a few videos. Um, I have Utopia, Bleached, Rave and Sudaberry. And these are all the colours here. I'm just going to swatch all of these for you. 
So these are the four colours that I have these in. I have just literally swatched them in the most random place. Um, this first one right here, this is Utopia. Then this one is Rave. This one's Sudaberry. And then this one is Bleach. I absolutely love these. They are so good. They last for so long and <sighs> they dry matte really fast but put it on far too thick. Oops. <laughs> um, if you've seen in my Keenan and JC vlog, um, I actually put on this one right here, which is Utopia. My favourite one for every day is Bleached, which is the top one right here. I wear this to school a lot, and yeah, I absolutely love that. So for body, I have been absolutely loving this body spray. This is from Victoria's Secret. It is in, this is Aqua Kiss. Um, I bought this and then I never really used it that often but I've been using it a lot more lately as I'm running out my Hollister spray. I'm going to try and keep that for as long as possible until they come out with another one but um, yes yeah, so this is actually really good and it smells amazing and it stays on all day. Keeping with sprays I have been absolutely loving this Coach perfume. This is, I don't even know which perfume this is, got it in a little mini set this is just mini size it's super cute i absolutely love the not the packaging the bottle and um, because it has this really cute little flower and stuff as well so i've been absolutely loving this and this also stays on all day which is amazing so to remove my makeup i have no longer been using makeup wipes i've actually been using the garnier um skin active cleansing water so this is what it looks like if you haven't seen this then i have no idea where you've been because this is this has been going all over youtube for a long time so on to the more random stuff i have been loving this notebook that i got not too long ago actually um when did i get this i think i got this august you yeah, got this in august and this is the notebook right here it's super cute um it has just a chevron pattern on it and oh, see the iPad? It will not stop going off. So the next thing I've been loving, I actually, I do have it but I couldn't be bothered getting it. But that is it right there. I got a MacBook which I'm super happy about and I've been loving that. It actually broke. I actually got it like a week and a half ago and it broke because it just wouldn't turn on and stuff but last night my dad actually fixed it for me so I've been able to use it which I'm so happy about so yeah and I just want to say thank you to my mom and dad because I know you are watching this thank you so much for getting me it and it means so much and yeah okay so for this next part I actually needed my laptop because I need to record my screen on my phone um, so I'm just going to show you an app that I've been loving lately. So the app is actually called Quizlet. Um, this is not sponsored by the way, I just love this app. My teacher actually recommended it for me. Um, basically you can just go onto the app, hopefully this is recording. Um, you just go onto this app, it'll load up. Um, then as you can tell I have Biology Nat 5 Cell Biology Key Area, that is my first one. But basically this is just, it helps you study and you can, if I go onto this, basically there's cards. So what it is, is it's just like flashcards. Um, then you can learn. So basically a high water concentration, a cell placed in a hypo, hypotonic solution will gain water and you basically just, you can type the answer or don't know, which is hypotonic. So it'll just give you the answer so you can learn it. The match is match all of the correct terms with their definitions. If you pick the wrong match, extra time will be added. So basically you just do like this and this, that's wrong, right? But um yeah, so basically you can also do a test as well. My last score on this was 53%. I have done better than that in the past though. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But basically you can just start the test and you'll just type in the answer. Um, this is really really good. It helped me study so much when I was doing my exams. So that was all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!